It's your girl, Miss Ruby V, and this is the Boom Bap Hour Uncut. And we are here with a very special guest, Nimrod. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Y'all caught me when I'm munching and crunching, but what's up? What's up? <laughs> hey, it's dinner time. You know what I'm saying? So look, yeah, it has some good food. You chilling? Florida, so you know it's dinner time. I know that's right. Hey, so, you know, hey, that's how it goes down on the Boom Bap Hour. Good food, good vibes, all that. <laughs> all that. So, um, definitely, how you doing today? I'm beautiful. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. So, tell us about, you know, just for our listeners and viewers, um, tell us about you and where, where are you from? Where are you from originally? I'm originally from Brooklyn, New York, born and raised, lived my whole life out there. I migrated to Long Island for a little bit, and then after Long Island, now I live in Jersey. Um, Hip-hop is my life. Um, I don't work with some of the greats from PMD, from EPMD, Fred the God, Sun God, Rest My Brother's Soul, 730 Dipset, Max B, Slick Rick, um, the list go on. I interned for Diddy for a little bit. You know, so I had, you know, and I worked with PYN Wu-Tang and now I'm back with PYN Wu-Tang. So it was just a beautiful thing. Yeah, I saw in um in your video, uh, you definitely had a lot of Wu in there. So that was going to be my next question. You know, mm -hmm. are you guys definitely, you know, a, a affiliated in the same team? Yes, we are. Family. Family. So, so, so. Yes, yes. Well, that is so awesome. Um, and so pretty much tell us about, you know, your newest music that you have out. Tell us, you know, your inspiration behind that. Take you there, the worst. Um, just tell us about like your new music and what you have going on. My newest music that I got out, um, my, my EP dropped November the 5th. It's doing very well now. We are, we are, we are at um, 200 and something thousand right now. Um, I'm just trying to round it off to the nearest. I dropped again November 5th, and um, it's, the album is called Educated Music. Um, I did my numbers. Uh, we dropped my first single, The Worst, featuring Durga Veli. She's an amazing rapper. If you guys don't know who Dur Durga Veli is, please go look her up. She's amazing. Um, and then after that, we dropped my next single called Love in Sections, featuring Mish. Um, and she's amazing. And Durga Veli was my co-host in there. Very beautiful young lady. And then after that, we moved on to Take Take You There, featuring uh, Mello, her. And uh, we've just been getting old, get, you know, gravitating to the people, getting the people to love the music, man. And uh, they really love what we have for them. So the album is doing amazing. Amazing. It sounds like it's doing amazing, definitely. So, um, you know, you guys definitely, you know, um, check that out. Uh, because you're definitely going to be, you know, pleased by what you hear. Uh, mm -hmm. So what do you have, like, coming up as far as, like, 2021? It's a new year. We made it, right? <laughs> we made it. We made it. Um, yes. Yes. Uh, so what's the plan for you in 2021? 2021, I have some amazing artists coming at you. That is part of Federal District PYN Records, Wu-Tang Management, Wu-Tang. We have Angie Starr coming. She already dropped one of her singles called Goodbye. She's already a thousand. Um, we have King Flo. He already dropped one of his singles called Fuck the Five. His streams are amazing right now. I think like 22,000. Um, and then his views on the video is almost at like 30,000. Um, but then after that, we have, we have Angie Starr dropping another single called AI. Um, but then after that, we have Adi and Lizzie, and then I'm coming back with my, my, my second album called Educated Thug Music for the Street. And then we're going to be dropping the Federal District album. So we have a lot to come. And then after that, you know, as time goes on, I'm going to be dropping my, my other EP with um, the title. Um, and then my main album, you know, like J. Clyde, uh, Rick Ross, um, we just added Buster Ron, uh, Jim Jones. So we got a lot of work to do. It's, it's in a short amount of time, I feel like. I just feel like a year is not long enough for all the things that I got to do. Uh, <laughs> we got a lot of work. 
Well, look, that definitely um, sounds very exciting. So I definitely can't wait, you know, to, you know, hear how everything comes together. That's definitely a dope project that you have going on for Thank sure. <laughs> Yes. So now we have to ask you the question that we love to ask um, all of our guests. We call it like the initiation. <laughs> so what does hip hop mean to you and why do you feel like hip hop chose you? Hip hop is a breath of fresh air. At the end of the day, when everything is, is bad, and a lot of times it is, I can put in a CD or, 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 or punch up a song on my YouTube and it takes me somewhere else. Um, that was a lot of meaning behind my song called Take You There because it just, the music takes you somewhere else. And um, I think hip hop chose me to feed people a message. Um, whatever message that is, I still don't know, but I hope it's to change somebody's life for the better have people follow me, follow me to greatness so I can show them something different. I feel like hip hop nowadays is so lost when you turn on music. And uh, I don't listen to the new music nowadays. I'm, I'm that door like JD, you know, Biggie, you know, Rakim. I listen to that stuff. And, uh, I feel like that's my place in this music business to take it back where it's supposed to be and give people that vibe. Back. It's missing because I feel like a big part that's missing my music, and I feel like I'm here to take it back where it's supposed to be. Okay, okay, that's that's what I like to hear. That's what's up. I love hearing the answer to these questions too. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, I mean, before we wrap it up, you know, definitely just let us know everywhere that we can find you, social media, um, all streaming, everything. Let us know, um, website, everything. Well, I tell people, I make it simple for them. I make <laughs> it very simple and easy. I'm Googleable. That's my word, copyrighted, I'm Googleable. You Google can Google I like that. <laughs> N-Y-M-R-O-D, again, N-Y-M-R-O-D. All of my songs that's for sale, are gonna come up. All of my social media is gonna come up. All the songs that I, all the videos that I have out are gonna come up. Everything that you wanna know about me is gonna be on my Google. So again, N-Y-M-R-O-D, N-Y-M-R-O-D, I'm Googleable. Google me. All right, well, you heard it right here and we definitely gonna be following up playing uh, the newest music from Nimrod. So thank you once again for joining us today on this beautiful Saturday evening. Yes, yes. Yes, and enjoy that good food. Enjoy I, that I am, I, I, I'm gonna tear this bad boy up, you understand me? Mm -hmm. I see you back there with your little Christmas lights. I like that, that's nice. You know, I'm still I'm still in the festive mood. You know, it's like you know my my kids they're like, mommy put up the put up the lights put up the lights. I'm like, yeah, I never gonna let me take this down. <laughs> every day Christmas, you gotta tell them every day Christmas, baby. Every day Christmas. That's right, that's right. Okay. Christmas and Kwanzaa, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yes. Well, again, thank you so much for joining us. Um, and y'all keep it locked. It's the Boom Bap Hour Uncut. Don't go anywhere.